Isaac has made its way across to the eastern Caribbean and uh, thankfully there are no watches or warnings in effect for the Lesser Antilles. All of those have been discontinued as of 5 p.m. on Thursday. And we can see here that uh, where Isaac's centre pass was between Dominica and Martinique at 9 o'clock on a Thursday and is now in the eastern Caribbean Sea. But it's still trailing a lot of moisture as you can see there into the Lesser Antilles. So there's still a likelihood of uh, some showers. But the swells from Isaac will continue to push across the eastern Caribbean out towards Hispaniola, southern coastlines there and up towards uh, Jamaica as well. So you can see all of those swells pushing through into to Aruba as you go through Saturday. Now in terms of the rains, we were looking at the showers are pushing through possibly into uh, Puerto Rico and then eventually into the Dominican Republic as we get towards uh, the weekend. So they'll begin to see some of the rains uh, from uh, Isaac as they go into uh, their Friday and Saturday. So you can see here that uh, for Roso as well as for Castries, still are some rainy spells expected. Some thunderclouds are also possible. They're bearing the remnants of uh, Isaac, basically drifting a lot of moisture into the Lesser Antilles and still a few showers as expected as well for Antigua as well as St. Kitts. Down towards uh, Barbados, the odd heavy shower is still expected with uh, St. Vincent as well as Grenada seeing the instability there. And uh, unfortunately, well, good news is that for Georgetown, it will remain quite uh, sunny with highs of 30 degrees Celsius. Now, as Isaac makes its way across the eastern Caribbean Sea, pushing in to uh, parts of Hispaniola, we'll likely begin to see a lot more of the cloudiness beginning to develop there. So San Domingo will see some uh, thundery downpours later on uh, during that day. A few brief showers are possible for Kingston, but they won't be expecting to see any sort of rainfall uh, directly impacting from Isaac until they get into the weekend. But bearing in mind, the hurricane season is in its uh, full bloom right now. This is the peak, and in September, we have yet another disturbance, which is in the Gulf of Mexico. And this one may well become a tropical storm as we go through the next few days. But we'll watch this one as well as we go through the next few weeks. So that's your weather and that's it from me.